before I water, I have a job to do. I'm going to give our onions a haircut. So do this two to three times before planting, depending on how tall the plants get. I'm gonna give you guys a visual what the plants look like, but basically what's gonna happen is the tips are gonna bend over and the plant is gonna to become too heavy and start to fall over. You cut the tips and then if they've fallen over, they should retake themselves to the vertical and the plant will regrow thicker. So you're gonna have a stronger onion transplant. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take just the tips and I usually like to go along one row at a time. Oops, <laughs> almost cut the tag there. That way I make sure I don't miss any of the onions. And usually you would have a new person doing this measure it because uh, you don't want to cut them too short. I have done this enough times that I can just eyeball it. But I'm basically just cutting at the curve. At this point right here where the onion twists, that's where I cut. See? So it ends up being depending on the onion plant, like two to maybe three, four inches tall. Ideally, we'd like them to be like all four inches tall, but they seem to have hit this curve point early. Maybe we should have actually done this trimming a little quicker than this, but at least we're getting it done now. It doesn't take very long. It's nice to have a good pair of scissors. You can also use like a, I've seen like a, a shear tool that will just go along and you just hold it at a certain height and it'll mechanically cut the onions. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but it is doable. I guess if you have lots, lots of onions to do and you have maybe employees doing it for you, then it could be worth investing in that tool. But for me, a pair of scissors works just fine. You can finesse it a little bit better, I find, this way too. You know, if you had just a, a mechanical tool, it'd be hard to get every last onion, which I'm trying my best to do here. And there's one of the flats here where they have already kind of fallen over because they've gotten too heavy. Um, so I'm going to give it a cut in those situations too, and hope that the onion picks itself back up when it's a little less heavy. So after this cut, like I said before, these onions are going to plump up. So the, the actual leaf of the onion is going to grow back thicker and it's going to end up developing a, th a thicker bulb too, actually, which is the part we're most interested because we want to have a nice bulb for onion. So doing this is going to actually encourage the plant to send more energy to reproductive growth instead of vegetative growth, which is going to cause it to bulb out instead of uh, having this big, heavy leaf. So it's not going to grow as tall the leaf. It'll get thick. It will grow taller again and you'll have to recut it, but it's going to be sending more energy after this into the bulb growth of the onion. So the actual root of the vegetable. For the haircut on the onions, what we're going to be doing is we're cutting it today and then we're going to keep an eye on it. And then as soon as the onions get to about either six inches or start to fall over again, whichever comes first, then we're going to give it another haircut. And usually this is two or three times before we plant. Uh, however, depending on when we actually get to plant, it may it may be four times or maybe two times or maybe only once uh, depending on how early you plant and how early or late you seed uh, the more times that they get trimmed though before they get planted the better since onions are very <clears throat> they have very small leaves so they have difficulty competing with weeds in the garden since the anything else like has generally bigger leaves so they can take up more sun more space and the onions also don't have 
very vast rooting system. So to compete for nutrients and water in the soil is also difficult for them if there's a lot of weeds. That's why it's a crop that you need to keep the beds very clean. You can't have a lot of weeds in your onions. Otherwise your onions are gonna either get outcompeted and just die, or they're gonna be very small. So these guys are getting lots of love today. Little haircut, get them looking good. Eh? So I got one more flat to do after this. You can as well do 